Hi there, thanks for joining me back on the One Series. Um, what we've got today, oh, says my glasses. What we've got today, ABS lights are on. We've got the ABS traction control DSC. Um, let's have a look, see what's going on. I've got the uh, Think Car Diag machine. Uh, we'll pop the Bluetooth adapter off, we'll get that into the car. And we'll see what faults we've got. As you can see there, we've got ABS and all them warning lights coming on the dashboard. Okay, so we want to do uh, system selection. Uh, is it chassis, ABS, read fault code. Okay, so we've got the rear right, uh, 5DC3, uh, wheel speed sensor, plausibility rear right. So uh, we'll get into that rear sensor and see what's going on. We should be able to do a live data stream on it as well. We'll spin the wheels up and just check these and see what signals we're getting. Wheel speed sensor. And if we do uh, front right and rear right, wheel speed rear right. Okay, on those two. We'll drop the uh, low entry jacks underneath. We've got the Sealy and the Viva, both brilliant. We'll get it in the air. Okay, so on the front right, when we spin the wheel, we can clearly see there the graph is going up. We've got a signal. So that's working like a dream. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Okay, if I go to the rear wheel and spin that, I'll get rid of the front one so you can just see the rear one. Nothing at all on the screen. So we're getting absolutely no signal at all there. So I've just whizzed the wheel off. We can check the sensor out. We've got the mill walking up one. Just drop the axle stand under the under the subframe there. So tucked away down the back here, we've got this wire here that comes down and bolts into the back of the hub. That's the ABS sensor. The wire comes round. You follow it around, it comes in behind this panel here. Um, so if we need to replace this sensor, we've got to just pop this panel off the back, which has got some bolts underneath there, just holding it on. Okay, we've got a little TX30. I'll just pop that out. pull this sensor out oh. and now you can see what's happened the bottom of that sensor there has been catching on the ring that's just inside here the rings corrode and swell up which then causes it to rub on this and it's destroyed the sensor so uh, new sensor needed and also the ring inside here on the drive shaft might need replacing what we can do is use a, a flat washer a very thin washer i've just got a copper washer here and i've smashed it down so it's really thin it's about just under a millimeter thick and uh, we can space it out behind it so it pulls the sensor away and hopefully that'll be enough to get us working until we can uh, well either replace the uh, the ring on here or uh, well we'll see how long it lasts i've done this on a few and it's uh, they do last a long while with the washer so um, let's see what happens. Let's replace the sensor anyway. So we've got these bolts. We've got to remove eight millimeter. We've got the M12 Milwaukee ratchet makes light work of this. Soon whizzes those bolts out. A little bit stuck that one. Nothing that a quick prod won't get out. Come on. There we go. One, two. Look at the inside here as well. We've got one there. Another one there. Just a bit, we've got a 10 mil. Like a quick release threaded bolt there. Alright, so we should be able to get hold of this now and just lift it all out of the way. Yeah, and there's this. That's what we're looking for is the ABS connector plug up here. I've got one for the brake pad 
warning and we've got one for the ABS. So let's, uh, let's pull that out. I'll pop them both out and we can get at them. Okay, so here we go. So what we've got is these clips, we can just push those and release them. That will then free off his wire at the bottom. There's ABS wire there. It just sits inside this. That's one of them. I'm going to do the same with the bottom one. That's those two out of there. So it goes down, round the back behind, behind the spring. It's in a little clip at the back there as well. We just need to release that little, little tab to get that out. Like that. Let's release from that one and feed it round. Do the same with this one. Which then brings us back to the connector plug. Which we just push the tab in and pull it apart. Like that. And we can look at the pins, it's all dry inside there, there's no corrosion at all. Which then just leads us to say that it is going to be the wear on this where it's actually worn through and damaged the sensor. Right, I've been online and I've managed to get myself a new sensor. That's the old one, I've got the new one. I'll put links in the description for it. Yeah, the sensor looks really good quality. Let's just compare it to the other one, make sure that we are the same in all dimensions and everything. You can see the original one is an ATE sensor, it's got it stamped on the back. And lengthwise, perfect. Everything there looks as it should be. Right and let's get this uh, fitted connected and put back together again so we'll connect it up to the to the plug to start with should only go in one way we've got the line there which is there so that slides in and clips in like that nice and snug and we can feed that back around behind the spring just feed that in around the back Keeping it out of the way of everything. So down inside you can actually see the ABS ring. As I rotate this you can see how that's turning. And on there we should be able to find a high spot. You'll see where it's been catching it. Ah, there look. See how that's clear there. That's where it's swelled and it's been rubbing just on that section there look. And the rest of it's dark as it should be, but yeah, there's a bit there as well. Right, let's get this new sensor in place. And like I say, I've got my little spacer washer that's going to go on the back of it there, just to pull it away slightly, so that it doesn't catch and wear the new one out. It can't be too thick, otherwise it won't pick the signal up from the, from the ring. I'll just slide that into place and put the bolt back in again. We can check this before we put it all back together. So now we're all connected and if I turn the wheel a whole lot, you see the signal being picked up there. 
we have now got a signal so we know that we've sorted the problem out the sensor was the issue let's get this uh, all put back together again we'll do a full rotation of this just to make sure what I'll do is I'll just stick it in gear make sure everything's away I'll stick it in gear and we'll get a really even spin on the wheel and then we can see if there's any discrepancies in the line Oh, okay, okay. And as you can see, it's not a straight line. We have got some discrepancies there. It's having a few moments, a little bit of a wiggle. You can see the parts that are. It's not too bad though. It's. Uh it's not dropping right out so I'm hoping that's going to be okay it's going to be good enough to get a decent uh, a decent result in fact it looks like it's getting better we'll pop that sensor out and have a look at it make sure it's got those new scratches on it make sure we have got it spaced out enough I just undo the bolt which is only finger tight we can pop the sensor out and have a quick look at it yeah there's no there's no scratches on the bottom of it so we know that the spacer is working the space is good enough we'll pop that back on again and we'll have that back in Just nip that up now with the ratchet. There we go. Right, now we can feed this wire back round where it needs to be. We can then get those plugs back into their little holder. We just clip them into place brake pad and then the ABS sensor and then drop that cover down okay. let's go from under there get that back down again get all those bolts back in place just nip them up they're not going to be really tight they're only going to little metal work clips and then we can just clip that back into place as well with that plastic retainer clip those plastic ones up make sure everything's one not crossed there. over so we've got all of those back in the clips again we're all rooted around the back up through the clips and then all hidden behind the panel I'm going to pop a couple of zip ties around just for good measure just to make sure that these don't come undone because they are quite old there we go and that's just a fail safe really to stop those coming undone so if this gives us any more problems in the future I've also got here a new ABS ring which we can fit to the drive shaft um, I've got a video on that I did it on the 3 series it's exactly the same uh, I'll put a link to that in the description but these are only a fiver they're so cheap um, you just have to take the drive shaft out to put it on but like I say if this gives us any problems I'll be changing that let's get the wheel back on got the gun set to its correct torque this gun is fantastic it's got preset torque settings on it and drop that down off the jacks the last thing we've got to do is to reset the diagnostics okay so we've got the ignition on you can see there the lights are on the dashboard um we'll just plug that into there we'll get back out of this and we can go to We'll read the fault code again. Yep, still there. We'll go out of that and we'll clear fault code. Okay. So with a bit of luck when we start the car up. Ooh, press the back pedal down. Okay. 
bingo, all the lights have gone out. If I let the handbrake off, yeah, all the ABS faults are gone. We've just got this fog light problem, which is a broken lens. It's got a load of water in it, so I've got to sort that out. But as far as the ABS goes, we have now sorted out this ABS problem. Let's take it for a spin and just make sure, because that sensor, that signal was slightly fluctuating, we'll take it for a spin, just make sure that all the, the lights stay off and everything's okay. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Sweet as a nut, got no lights coming on at all. ABS is working like a dream. She lives to fight another day. <laughs> She's a good motorway beast, this one. What a cracking car. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's been a use, then drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. I'll put all the links for the bits and pieces in the description. Drop me some comments. I always love your comments. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.